Here we go, off the rails. Three bags for a pass. Send a word, I'll be there in a flash. You could say How are we feeling today, boys? We got our 30th trailer today. 30 trailers for one DLC! That's crazy, dude! This was shot in front of a live studio audience at twitch.tv slash sweatsicle. I think I, dude, I watched this when I woke up, but I don't even remember half of it. So, uh, this is basically new to me. Get your oohs, ahs, and pogs ready, dude. Look at all the hellos! Hi, hello! I've been studying new faces to make for, for the oohs and ahs, and, uh, I'm gonna see if I can pull some off on this one. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> The light and dark ready themselves for a new phase. So must we. Oh. More snow! The day we've been dreading has finally arrived. The darkness is here. Uh, what? Tower! We are deploying guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. Six! Fire team of six! Someone's in trouble. My friends, we Ferrix? are all in great danger. The Vanguard only recognizes the light. Someone has Whoa! the dark. Stasis is just a tool. We must use it for good. This power is a gift. One a gift? We've seen this. Sparrow! Pyramidian! Walking! Ice! Holy shit! You are not special. Space bus! Finishable! Go! Beyond! Light! Time to go frame by frame. Frame by frame. They they implemented new air vents. We're going to be getting that crispy airflow because it's kind of cold. We need good heating. All right, this frame, he appears to have taken one step forward. That means these are new exotic boots and he's moving faster than normal because it's usually two frames for one step. Look at the speed. There's four guardians. That's more than a fire team should allow. Either somebody's cheating or this is a four to six man activity. I will say, this is kind of dope. God only recognizes. Dude, like, I've never been more moist over Eris before, dude. Dude, she's just, wow. Look at this. Look at that ball roll. Look at that! Uh, one other thing, while we're in slow-mo, I want to talk about. And this sounds awful. This guy is still scary as fuck, dude. Like, this gives me nightmares. What? Why did they give Harpy's legs? This helmet is dope. I need this. Dude, this reminds me of like a Halo helmet, dude. This thing looks fucking sick i think there's a lot that they haven't showed us which is what i prefer personally i like to go into dlc's not knowing shit. uh blah 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 vidoc launch trailer we already watched that the soft cap is always super fucking easy to hit you play the story you get some blues you're at soft cap or you just turn in tokens right away so when you first log in all your weapons and armor will be at 1050 or higher this is kind of it's good for new players but at the same time dude it's like if you play the past few seasons and you, you put in all that time to level. What the, like, why? So yeah, soft cap is super easy to hit. This is just, this is so fucking disappointing, dude. 
Because this is how it's been every season, right? Is we go up by like 60 power. And there's, it literally, anybody who knows how this shit works, you're at max level within like a day or two. And we have 11 days to level for the raid. We literally waited extra months for this and we're only getting essentially a 60 power increase. The soft cap doesn't really matter. You only need, yeah, and for the raid, you only need to be like 1250, right? Powerful reward changes. We've heard your feedback opportunities to earn powerful rewards from the activities you enjoy most. We have a change coming that allows you to earn powerful rewards from strikes, gamut, crucible, and seasonal drops all the way up until hard cap. It will still be much quicker to continue to complete powerful reward sources each week, but if you want to play strikes and crucible matches all day, every day, you can continue to earn powerful rewards. This, this could be good, but the fact that we're only going up this much, there's a 50 gap difference. That makes that dog shit. Like this is, this is the way D1 was structured is you could do faction packages all day and you could level up from that, right? All the way up to 400. That's good. Is they're allowing players to play as much as they want to level. But the problem is there's not enough levels. Tokens and collections, destiny's that's best when you're shooting aliens, getting loot, becoming more powerful. The gameplay loop breaks down when the best way to increase your power can be standing at the tower, handing tokens to Lord Shax. Starting next season, gear received from collections and turning in tokens will have a lower power than previous seasons. Gear earned through this through token purchases will be 20 power below your level and collection buybacks will be capped at 1050 power. Wait, so you can't even you can't go to soft cap with tokens anymore? Is that what it's saying? That's this is how it should be. Rip your tokies? No. If there's a vendor refresh, we're chilling. We're gonna get god rolls out the ass. Min maxing is gone. Yes, that's what that means. That's good. This is a very good change, but this is something that we've needed for a very, very long time. Like literally since Forsaken. Because this that was one thing that helped make leveling really easy. It's good that it's gone now. I'm happy that they're implementing it, but I hate that it takes so long. I, I just, we don't know enough until it's actually out and I don't want to sit here and say this is going to be shit. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just really fucking worried because you you go and look at the history of all all the all the leveling systems, right? All the different economy changes for it, and it you just it, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be good, in my personal opinion. I, I mean I don't care. Here's the thing, man. I'll always have those tokens, and if they are useful, I'll I'll have them for a very long time. I'm pretty sure this was just uh it's just they finally said turn in your materials if you if they're going away. So you guys finally got a, an answer on that. Spider is going through some changes through a notoriously savvy black market dealer, our favorite forearm friend. Blah 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 intro. First off, Spider will no longer be selling legendary shards. This exchange was removed mainly because it was not seeing enough use. After reviewing player balances and the frequency in which this exchange was accessed, it was an easy decision to free up space with something much more interesting. In place of Legendary Shard Exchange, Spider is now selling Enhancement Prisms. These highly valued items come at a cost. 400 Legendary Shards per Prism! Who the fuck thought that was okay? Is this a typo? Banshee, it costs right now, the material changes, 10 enhancement cores, the cores, 25 of a planetary material and 10,000 glimmer for one enhancement prism from Banshee. So let's do the fucking math. Let me pull out a notepad. Uh, spider, Banshee, 400 legendary shards, which can be broken down, 10 enhancement prisms or enhancement cores, 10 enhancement Cores. 25. Matt. 10k. Glim. This will take two days to get the cores. In theory. I can just go into a pit of heresy checkpoint. I go swing my dick around for four, like two minutes. I get a masterworked armor piece that I delete because it's, it's trash armor. And get six prisms legendary shards for a worse exchange how is that possible all right this has been your math class with sweatsicle dude this is such a good change bro after three years all sparrows 
finally summon instantly. Yeah, oh, no, we'll wait another three years for all sparrows to be 160s. You're not wrong. So good and tasty.